Hey, hi, hello! Welcome, welcome, everybody! Long time no see. So... It's officially been one year since I debuted as a VTuber. And oh my god. It has been quite the adventure. Let me tell you. So I got into VTubing like many people did last year because of a certain thing that happened in the world that is still kind of going on, still kind of not. I don't think, I don't think it's something we can talk about, but if you know, you know. And if you don't, um, it's probably in a book somewhere. Anyway, I started out this year with a plan. I wanted to release two videos a month, and I started doing that in January and part of February. But suddenly, things got very, very busy. And not just with VTV stuff, like, everything got busy. It's because people started getting relaxed and, like, getting themselves more out there into the world. And suddenly, a pile of work that was, like, this big went this big. If my other hand was cooperating, it would, it would be pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. YouTubing, making videos for YouTube. That kind of got put on the back burner for a little bit, partially due to that, and also partially due to uh, the projects I've been trying to work on for YouTube specifically. So, I want to talk to you guys about my future plans as a VTuber in my second year here on YouTube. I guess VTuber implies YouTube, but it kind of doesn't. It's The term has outgrown the YouTube ecosystem. It is now expanded. Across all platforms. Everywhere. Anyway. What have I been up to? Why haven't I been working on videos? Let me tell you. I've been streaming almost consistently since last September. Taking few breaks. To the detriment of my sleeping schedule. Whoops. I stream on Twitch if you're wondering. And I can give you guys a quick rundown of how it goes. Verbally. Or I can just show you a few clips. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Hey, Oni-chan. Silent Hill. Scary ghosties. Take me home. Country road. Okay. <laughs> Swim. Swim. Using its friend as a meat shield. Oh, you can't do anything to me, spider! Taste better, taste better, taste better. Taste better, taste better, taste better. Taste better! Mortal Wombat! Is that like a thing for most succubates? Like, are they allergic to getting wet? It takes a lot to make a stream. A pinch of cringe and laughter, too! Who took my skirt off? One, head back. Can we play snake? Yes! What's going on? Oh! Guys, guys, guys. Okay, hear me out. What if... What if Zelda was a girl? Do it, Miranda. Splash me with your hot cream. So as you can see, I'm just as cringe live as I am recorded. Typically what I like to do is stream three times a week, and I separate it based on genre. So like, Wednesdays is when I focus on survival horror, and Fridays is when I focus on the shooty shoots, uh, FPS games. And Sundays is kind of more of a relaxing, slow, like, very low tempo stream, because it's a Sunday, and it's more of a day about relaxing, right? At least that's what I think. If you're into cutie VTubers live streaming video games, then I highly recommend my channel, which you can watch here! On Twitch, I'm planning to continue my tours of Silent Hill with Shattered Memories, eventually going into the rest of the new games, ultimately ending with the original, the old classic, Silent Hill on PlayStation. I'm also planning to check out a lot more of the newer survival horror games, or I guess they're mostly horror games nowadays. Um. I'm gonna go back to stuff like Outlast and some of the more new but retro aesthetic games. Like there's one called Back in 1999 I've been meaning to check out. Or is it 1995? 
I can't remember. If you're ever curious about, like, what I'm going to play or when, you can keep track of that sort of thing on my Twitter. Ping. Or my newly founded Discord server. Ping, ping, ping. Both of which you can find links to in the description as well. So now that we got the streaming out of the way, I mean, the streaming fun and goodness and positive advertising towards my current obsession, let's continue on to what I've been working on um, lately. So I haven't stopped producing videos. I've been working consistently on videos since January. Specifically one video, which um, as a project itself has been way larger than I could ever imagine. So last year I started a podcast called The Cutie Cast with my partner in crime, Will Miyabu. The first anime we decided to discuss was Hiroboji, which you can watch here. Since then, we have recorded episode two. And I'm willing to give you, uh, well, I kind of gave away uh, hints about what we were going to discuss next in that episode. But I'm going to give you a small preview of what is to come now. The angel, beautiful angel, I hate everything you said about her. Uh, she's a <laughs> breath of fresh air. She brought life. As soon as I introduced her, I was like, oh my god, I'm in it. I'm here. I'm ready. Like, I was so excited. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that because, like, the show was, um, it had, like, its tapes, and as soon as she came in, it just got punched up another level. That's right! We're gonna talk about Evangelion! Um, but we are, I'll preface this to say that we're only talking about the main TV series. I decided, for better or for worse, to only focus in on the, on the TV show. We are gonna try to record, like, an addendum to discuss both the death of Evangelion and the end of Evangelion. And then as a future episode, we're going to cover the Rebuild series now that I think the third movie's out on streaming. I remember it came out in theaters, at least in Japan, earlier this year. Well, actually, I thought it was January. It might have been March. Time is still a big blur to me. I don't know about you guys, but some days I forget what day it is. Will that ever change? Maybe we'll find out soon. Anyway. The cutie cast is going to continue. I've already got plans for episode 3 and episode 4. I'll just say that um, we're going to try to focus in more on the shorter series if possible. Because part of what goes into shooting that is actually watching the show or re-watching it from start to finish. And with a show like Evangelion, it kind of took a while to watch. Um, for me at least. I think my partner was able to binge the entire thing in two days though. Good for her! But I know that in the future, it might be more of a time issue trying to get an entire series down before recording, at least. I'm trying to keep the show to two hours. One hour would be ideal, but then you don't get you don't get to talk about a lot of like extra stuff. Because if you guys have watched the first episode, then you'll know that um, we don't talk about the show as much as we talk about everything around it. Because we're professional anime people. Next episode, we're going to try to cover Steins Gate. Um, and it's just gonna be, I guess, what it is, season one. Because they released a prequel season, right? And then a movie. We're only gonna focus on the TV show. Beyond that, I have a collaboration planned for the Cutie Cast to include a third person as a guest host. Anyway, other videos that are going to be released in the near future. There is going to be a video about Mori. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my streaming, you'll know that I played through that entire game. Um, from like last year. No, when did I start it? I started it in February, I think. So yeah, it took me like 70 hours to play that game. And I was traumatized by it, and I want to talk about it. I have a lot of feelings about that game, and I feel like I need to talk about it with you all, beyond what I was able to talk about on stream. And fair warning, there will be full spoilers on that game, mostly focused on the good, good ending, but I might cover parts about um, the other endings. There's four in total. And I spoiled the other three because I don't think I could play that game again. So please look forward to that. Um, it's also going to be the first time I try to look deeply into a uh, piece of media I can see beyond, like, the shallow aesthetic glances or previews or whatever. I'm going to try my best to do a real live YouTube video about a video game. And I'm excited about that. The script is, like, halfway complete. It's been written and revised at least twice. But you know how that is. You're gonna look at something again and you're gonna realize none of this makes sense, so I gotta rewrite it. Anyway, beyond that, 
there are there's a few tribute videos I've been planning to put up. Um, a music tribute, like I have been in the past, which they're usually around 30 seconds. They usually end up on Twitter first, and then YouTube, because YouTube usually, um, if they don't mute it, they immediately make it impossible to find unless you're constantly monitoring this channel, which I highly, highly recommend. You can click on the subscribe button or the bell button, and you can also like the video. ENGAGEMENT! There's going to be a music video tribute on uh, the Wu Tang Clan. Instead of a tribute like I have been doing, I am planning to basically use my own lyrics over the backbeat of one of their more famous songs, older songs. And it has a lot to do with streaming because I've been streaming, oh, a lot. So I look forward to sharing with that with you guys. I'm also going to use this channel as a way to upload bots of lengthier playthroughs and stuff that really interested me. Like, you might have noticed in January, I started uploading VODs of Cyberpunk 2077. And that playthrough is, um, at time of recording, that playthrough is not complete. But it will be by the time we get to the final episode. I think in total, there might be 13 or 14? No, we might actually be past that. Wow. I think that game's almost taken me a hundred hours at this point. But if you watch any of those episodes, you'll know to, you'll know why. I like to lollygag and shop for clothes. I am the worst open world game player person. This VOD is kind of an experiment to see if this is something I should continue to do in the future. And I do want to, but I don't want to upload every VOD. I'm thinking of um, limiting it to um, either games that are notable. Like Cyberpunk, for instance, because Cyberpunk released Super Broken. And through my playthrough, you can kind of see the effects the patching had as I get through it. Like, stuff will break less and less, but they'll also break in more interesting and random ways. And I think I point out when that kind of thing happens. Also, know that my playthrough is heavily censored so that it is safe for YouTube. Otherwise, um, in the future, I might upload VODs um, of past playthroughs of Silent Hill games just to kind of match with the fact that I've already got a Silent Hill 2 playthrough on here. Um, you can check that out on this playlist. I'm also going to um, start uploading VODs of collaborations I've been um, joining in on or hosting. A big part and a wonderful part about VTubing has been being able to meet all sorts of people, all sorts of, all sorts of fun and interesting characters. People I appreciate, people I admire, and people I love to death. And I have been lucky enough to engage in a few collaborations here and there over the past few months. And I'm going to do my best to upload thoughts to that here. The first of these collaborations to go up is going to be over Doki Doki Literature Club, which I was able to play with um, a cast of the most amazing folks I have ever met. As of recording, the playthrough is only halfway done, I think. As of recording, the playthrough is only halfway done, but there might be three parts to it. It depends on a lot of things, really, because if you've played that game, um, you're probably already familiar with everything you gotta do to get to the end. But me, being a greenhorn, and going through it the first time ever, I know, late, super late, I'm trying not to both rush it, but also to have a great time with all these people who are so nice and kind to accept my invitation. I'm so happy. I hope you enjoy it. With all that said, what are my future plans? Well, it has been a year, and I feel like um, a lot of trends have come and gone in the VTubing community. And one trend I definitely want to do, but I'm going to save for my Twitch one year anniversary, is presenting a PowerPoint about who I am, what I am, why I am, and where I am. Maybe not all those questions um, to avoid, you know, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. Feel free to leave your disappointed comments below. But because I have a lot more freedom to be creative here on YouTube, I am going to leave you guys with something special as a parting gift and as a way to commemorate this day, because I'm looking forward to spending many, 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 many more days with you guys. Or months. Or weeks. 
Four years! Who knows? I just know deep down inside that I am not done with this project. And I don't think I want to be done with it for quite some time. So, what's this gift? Well, as you know, this model you see before you, this beautiful model, was a commission that I had made last year. And if I have not mentioned that before, surprise! I guess it's typical that most VTubers don't make their own models, but there are a lot of talented people out there that I can and do and still do to this day, including the artists that I commissioned for this. They go by the name Vitanjo. You can find them here. They are a lovely person. They're very warm and I'm very thankful to have met them last year, especially with everything that went on. I recently reached out to them because I have a lot of big plans for this year. More than just consistent video output, I have I have ideas in my head of upgrading everything, including how my hands move. I don't know if it's been obvious, but one of these hands has alien hand syndrome. Can you guess which? It's that one. Anyway, today I'm going to give you a preview of Alessa Pure 2.0. The official debut of Alessa 2.0 is going to be at the end of July. And I really should wait to do a formal debut until September, but I'm too excited. Like, I just want to show off what this new model looks like. And next month, I want to show off all the enhancements I've added to it. It's... I'm excited, guys. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited! Without further ado, please allow me to present to you, Alessa Pier 2.0! Well, what do you think? Y'all, if you're in need of a Vroid, I highly, 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 highly recommend you go visit Vitanjo. Her work is amazing. Everything, everything that's been enhanced, I absolutely love. I love my clothes. I love my eyes. I finally have eye makeup. Look! The cat eyes. I love it. My hair is different, and yet, it's the same. Ah! Oh my god. I'm freaking out a little bit just looking at myself. I just- I just want to stare at myself. Can you guys give me a moment? Like, you can- you can like look away for a moment, right? Let me just... Hello, gorgeous. Okay, that was bad. I'm sorry. I will give you guys a full body preview. Alright, y'all. As you look at my new outfit, please look respectfully. Thank you! In advance! do 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 Um, how do I turn? Yay! Don't pause on any section of this video. If you do pause, I will know. And I am going to tell your waifu. She's not going to be happy with that. Not at all. I think the best part about this redesign is, like, the jewelry. Like, I didn't know v could wear jewelry. Now that I've seen it, on me at least, I just think of the possibilities. I have so many plans. So beyond this redesign, there are going to be several enhancements done to make things pop. And that includes capture. Capture, capture, capture. This isn't exactly a VRM slash B-Roy tutorial channel, but let me tell you, a lot of you out there that do work on that sort of thing, I've been lurking your videos, and I've been trying to learn as much as possible in as, uh, as little time as possible. And, with all that I've learned, I've found both a cheap and effective way at enhancing this experience for everybody involved. That involves fixing what's going on here, which, um, at this point I've probably given up on cutting out every time my hand goes wonky. 
Like that. Like, I'm not gonna cut that. That, that's for you. You can make a gift of that. I implore you to. But I'm also gonna enhance this so that it's less, like, stiff. Even though, with the redesign, it looks a little more, I don't know, engaging? I think it's the eyes. The eyes look... Yeah, the eyes... They make all the difference. I am gonna miss the pink that was inside my pupils, though. I might have to add that back in. I feel like... I feel like I need it. Like... Nothing really needs to change. Everything is... I don't know. Better. Faster. Also, fret not all of y'all that have been on my streams. All the costumes I've made to this point, I am going to make upgraded versions for Alessa 2.0. Starting with the Fabled Succubus. And I think that moving forward, I might replace some of the older costumes, not only for TOS reasons, but also because I can make them so much better now. I, all the possibilities, all the doors have been opened and Moving forward, it's going to be way, 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 way easier to add new costumes. Like, my favorite part about this redesign is the fact that I'm going to be able to go clothes shopping way more often than usual. And I don't know why I'm so excited about that. That's like my favorite part. Like, okay, my one year anniversary treat to you guys, besides this, is um, a guilty a confession. My favorite part about being a VTuber is shopping for clothes. And now everybody left. For those of you who remain, I'm serious. Like, I'll go onto all kinds of websites. Like, I'll go on the booth. I'll see what's new. I might buy a few things. Sometimes stuff I don't ever use. I'll go on to like Etsy, um, DeviantArt, and I'll specifically look for anything Vroid related because it's um. Recently, I think, actually, people have found a way to be able to make clothes and just sell the clothes, not have to sell, like, an entire model or whatever. And it's great, because I have no art skills. I'm working on it, though. Well, that's a half-life. I did start drawing more this year, but it's probably no better than my youngest family member. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I wasn't put on this world to draw, but it's fun anyway. That's besides the point. I'm going on so many tangents. Y'all, let me just end it here and say that I'm so excited for the future. I have so much I want to do. So much I want to bring to you guys. And I hope you'll stay with me on this journey as it unfolds. Including beyond the, beyond all the technology stuff. I am planning to do way more collaborations. I think I've gained enough confidence to start asking the VTubers I admire to work with me on YouTube stuff. As well as Twitch stuff. As well as Instagram stuff. As well as Twitter stuff. As well as LinkedIn stuff. I'm just kidding about that last part, maybe. I've also got big plans to open up my very own website. Um, I did all the research I need for that last year. And, well, I won't give away too much here because that might make it easy to, um, that might make it easy to, like, destroy my website. Anyway, the plans for that is just to make it a singular space for you guys to see my stuff um beyond the videos like i'm not gonna host videos on there i might link to them but it's gonna be like part blog and part photo gallery because i recently started doing a photo shoot every month for everyone that participates in the stream and i really want to host that on my own website but for now i've been hosting that stuff on coffee which you can find here just know you don't have to donate a damn thing to see that all my photos are free for you to look at. And so far, that's all I've been using coffee for. You will see a donation goal there, but that's really misleading. Like, I really should update that. Originally, I was planning to use coffee as a way to, like, put together a virtual reality streaming room. But I don't think I need that. And in fact, I don't even have the room for that. Ignore the donation goal. Just use that as a place to see my beautiful pictures. My beautiful pictures that don't make it to Instagram. Um, I haven't actually been using Instagram as much as I should have either. Uh, I was trying to use it also as a way to advertise streams and post beams. But... For the most part, I've been using Twitter for that. 
sometimes my eyes are bigger than my um, capacity to social media. But maybe that's a good thing. Right? 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 With all that said, I'd like to take this time to thank everybody who's both been supporting me for this entire time or who just started supporting me. Thank you all for being there for me. Thank you all for watching my videos, for liking and sharing. Thank you all for your kind words. Thank you for everything. If it weren't for you guys, um... Well, let's not get too emotional. Okay, I promise not to engage in any emotional terrorism. But I really appreciate everybody out there. Um, you've made the lost year a year full of happiness. And I will forever, forever be grateful for that. Um, I also want to thank V, v Tanjo for being so kind and redesigning my model. You're a sweetheart, and I wish all the best for you in the future. Last but not least, I want to thank every VTuber I've met this past year. You all are the nicest, kindest, gentlest, cutest people on the planet. And I'm very happy to have been, like, given a spot in this community. Um, I won't try to make too many of you cry. Um, but for, well, I don't want to be overly dramatic either. Like, but it's kind of like for the first time in my life, I've found a place where I can fit it, I think. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. And I'm going to get off this topic. Now, ladies and gentlemen and MV pals, thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, goodbye! Thinking. So, I want to talk to you guys about my future plans as a VTuber on my second year as a VTuber. Redundant! We're from the redundant department of redundancy. Blah, 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 blah. And it's going to look really awkward. I think the hands were a little too fucky. Mean face. Sad face. Mean face. Surprise face!